Hey, this is David, House Parents. Today we're going to go ahead and take out this microwave. I'm going to show you how to remove a microwave. Uh, these things are a little bit heavy, so if you have two people, it's best, but today I'm on my own, so I'm going to show you how to do this one person style. And uh, there's just a few extra precautions you need to take. So let's get started. All right, uh, first things first, before you do anything, you got to unplug the microwave from the plug. These, ours have never been hardwired, they're always usually plugged. And the plug comes up through the bottom of the cabinet. So that's the first thing. That's the hole for our previous microwave install. And this one, this is our, actually our second microwave. And that is where the other plug was, was uh, originated. So for us to take this out, what we're going to do, we have two screws, one on either end of the cabinet. And so we're going to start by unscrewing those. But before we do, we got to add some braces underneath. All right, so I already cut a board 17 inches, and it basically will fit snugly under, under the microwave. That's to provide support because these are hinged at the back. There you can see there's the hinge plate mounted on the wall and that silver piece, that silver piece right there is kind of like a hook that it hooks into the bottom of the microwave. There's one right there on the far end and then one right here. And so the front will start to come down as I loosen those screws. So uh, what I want to do is kind of support that somewhat as I take these screws out. And so we'll do a little bit on either side. So as you can see right now, right there, there's a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to come down low so I can have one arm under the microwave at, at all times. And then uh, the goal is to go ahead and take both those screws all the way out. And then all that's holding the microwave at that point is the hinge and back. I've got another board here, just a scrap piece of wood. And that's going to be a catch because ultimately I want this to rest onto here. Um, and you'll see why in a second. But so first we're going to go ahead and take these screws out one at a time. And so that one's out. They're pretty long because they have to go through the cabinet. And so there's a lot of weight on this board right now because these are, again, pretty heavy. Take the second one out. And I do it slowly till I know that that board is good and strong and holding that up real well. And then I can feel that there's no tension on these screws as I'm taking it out the rest of the way, which is a good sign. So now what I'm going to do is I'll lift the front end of this up and swap boards. I just want to take that board out. The reason why I did that is I want to get this power cord out of the hole before I start trying to walk away with it. So without knocking this over, I'm going to try to get this cord out. All right, it's free. The back end of this is on a hinge. And so what we're going to do is tilt it forward and lift it off those hooks. Now, as I lift this down, I also need to lift it up in the back. There we go. Now, I just got to find a place to put it over there out of the way, and we can remove the rest of the hardware. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is take this mounting plate off. Our whole goal is to open all this up so we can put a range hood in, and that's a different video. But right now we're just getting rid of everything that was here. All right, so we'll just take these out. It helps to have an impact driver because these are mounted into the studs and they're in, that's a pretty good anchorage. A lot of, it's pretty tight. 
Okay, and that's it. That's all there is to taking it, getting rid of it. If you were mounting this, you have to measure from here to the bottom of here to get the 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 height of the back of the microwave is going to rest on the bottom of this hook and go to right here. So that's that would determine the height of this on the wall. Once that's on the wall, you can just hook the back of the microwave in and screw it in from top on top. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. We always appreciate that. It does help our videos along. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got lots more videos coming. We're going to follow this one with how we put in the range hood. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.